From the 700 WLW Newsroom, here's Brian Combs. Big stories we're talking about at the big one today. Bad weather rolling through the tri-state this morning, and it just might be the start of what's ahead today. A couple of different storm systems will be rolling through as a cold front finally approaches in the tri-state. That could bring us some relief from this rain. In the meantime, more heavy showers, though, this morning. There were several severe thunderstorm warnings as well as a couple of tornado warnings for the tri-state. Now, there were no confirmed touchdowns at all in the area. And a couple of times this morning looked like severe storms were rolling through northern Kentucky that were capable of spawning tornadoes. It would never happen. There was, at one point, a tornado warning uh, being issued for Butler County by the county itself. They set off the sirens, even though the National Weather Service never issued any warnings. There was a report that an Oxford police officer had spotted a funnel cloud, so Butler County decided to sound their sirens to warn people. But again, no touchdowns confirmed and no significant damage across the tri-state. Not even any major power outages because of these strong storms that moved through. Bigger story has to do with all the rain that they've been producing. We could see another three to five inches of rain in the tri-state today alone. Now, that's on top of the dozen inches of rain that have fallen so far this month. Looks like April will definitely end up being the wettest month in the history of the tri-state. Worse than January of 1937. That was when the Great Flood occurred on the Ohio River. It went to 80 feet. There are all kinds of protections along the river to prevent another catastrophe like that. Though it does look like the river is going to get back to 56 feet tomorrow. That'll be four foot above flood stage downtown. Great Miami is going to top out about eight feet above flood stage in Miami town tomorrow. And even the little Miami could get a foot or so above flood stage at some point tomorrow because of all this rain at Kings Mill in Milford. So stay with 700WLW, 700WLW.com for the latest weather watches and warnings. Cirque Soleil ready to resume shows at Old Coney. They're thinking Tuesday of next week they'll be able to have people back in to see their show OVO. It was closed after opening night because of high water on the river. Now they're looking to resume. They're holding a news conference this morning that we have covered for you. However, the Appalachian Festival, which is scheduled for the following weekend, May 5th, 6th, and 7th at Coney Island, has already been canceled. The organizers of that say there's no way that they can get ready, have that event because of the high water on the Ohio River. People are showing up at Cincinnati City Hall this afternoon because they want answers. Police shooting of a man earlier this month in Northside. Friends of David Haybear plan to be at City Hall at 1.30 today to express their concern over the shooting of that man who had a knife on Chase Avenue. They say police should have used some other measure first to try and subdue him like their tasers. Not clear if they get any answers today. We'll have the City Hall meeting covered for you. Search is on for the cause of a fire overnight downtown at Waldo Apartments at 8th and Elm. number of people who lived in that seven-story building had to evacuate when a fire broke out on the first floor. Apparently the fire was in a massage parlor on the first floor. A woman concerned about the blaze went out through the plate gra- glass window. She was injured, taken to the hospital to be treated for cuts, though they say the injuries are minor, nothing too serious. We don't know how the fire started. Damage has been put at $5,000.